Welcome to Kerala Travel Mart special program KTM 2022 Reloaded. The 11th edition of KTM has now officially came to an end. Then baby Matthew on how productive this edition of KTM is. I am happy. 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 I am Pass model, entry pass model, reservation model, appointments are appointments are B2B, B2B meet. B2B meet. appointments online. Business is not a good thing. It 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 is not a good Advanced right, la, it's a value matilla, it was a computer settled matter matilla, it was a social media work or matilla, Ella, Matisamsang, Ella, Rum, KTM, and Dana Chino, Kerala Tourism and Dana Chino, the Padishu Trigiana, Namala, Padisha, Avadal Pakan, Sumigiana, Avadela Madra, Kerala Tourism, and KTM. What are the Savai Guardian people of Chicago? Bias Sales Matravella, Sadharan Allegal. Students, Katarna uh, Allegal, E. Martigana to Vidin. I'm a public in Ola, Samay to Valia Teraka. Other E. Tourist Road Ola, Avade Uru, Uru Talpirimundu, Media, E. Provision Media, Kate Galata Old Martin of Valdium, Media, Promoted under, and the media order, Galata Old Martin, the person that I like it, any media order, Nani under, about Dana Allegal, Angani, Yentana Narakan, Yentani Martha. Itravari, India, two million, Matan Kala to KTM. At the end of the Kana, Lagam should be very good in a mature guide. KTM, Chatta, the Adima, Chitra Guide. Kerala, Muruan MLA Mari, Muruan MB Mari, Dajava, Logasava MB Mari, Yella Mandri Mari, Yella Rashi Party, Nedaka Mari, E. Martigana Night, Are, Ere, Ete, Idigrilla, Marte on the Kana Namundum, Ningalavalo and Jenamundum. Nurse and the Ranaman, Nigger Sahari in the Paranayan, Lavrim, Chatter the Ladi, my young invade the Tunde, as would then a Pala, MB Marim, Pala Mela Marim, with a Pondu Digan, Palashi, Alu Manu Digan under our the Kandarane, Kerala Tin, the GDP, Randa Sanatana tourism. Nalpati Nala item, Kodi Ruid, a ten hour and tourism or other. Padinja, let's talk about Alagoli and after value industry ये राष्ट्रीय कार्य को पूरी समिचारे सारी की हुला आदेश करने पर और करने पर सुला के टे पांडे लक्ष्य तो लाल गले जोली ये इन्हों जीडीपी ले नंदा साना तो अंग्रेज़ इंडस्ट्री ये प्रदर्शन रहता है ना मतलब कैलेंडर में डिटाइन है कैलेंडर में सांबती आवश्यकता Having the Honorable Chief Secretary on the occasion of validation was truly a blessing. President Baby Matthew Somathiram took the privilege to describe KTM's new caravan initiative to the Secretary. Kerala, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
മേൽക്കോയ്മയുമെല്ലാം മറ്റുള്ള നാടുകളിലുള്ള ടൂർ ഓപ്പറേറ്റർമാർക്കും എല്ലാം മനസ്സിലാക്കി കൊടുക്കാനും നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിലേക്ക് കൂടുതൽ ടൂറിസ്റ്റുകളെ ആകർഷിക്കുവാനും ഈ ഇവൻ്റ് കൊണ്ട് തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും സാധിക്കും ബീങ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി ഹെൻസ്മൻ ആൻഡ് ദി ഫോർമർ പ്രസിഡന്റ് ഓഫ് കെ ടി എം സൊസൈറ്റി മിസ്റ്റർ ഇ എം നജീബ് ഹാസ് എ ലോട്ട് ടു കമാൻഡ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റീനിലെ ഒരു ഫ്ലഡ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമ്മളൊരു കെ ടി എം നടത്തിയാണ് കേരളത്തിലെ ടൂറിസം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി റിവൈവ് ചെയ്തത് ഇപ്പോൾ കഴിഞ്ഞ രണ്ട് വർഷമായി കേരളത്തിൽ മാത്രമല്ല വേൾഡ് ഓവർ ടൂറിസം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി വളരെ മോശമായിരിക്കുന്ന സാഹചര്യത്തിലാണ് കെ ടി എം ട്വൻറ്റി ടു നടക്കാൻ നടത്താനായിട്ട് കെ ടി എം സൊസൈറ്റിയും കേരള ഗവൺമെൻറ്റും കൂടെ ഒരുമിച്ച് തീരുമാനിച്ചത് കഴിഞ്ഞ നാലഞ്ച് മാസത്തെ വളരെ സമഗ്രമായ എഫർട്ട് ഫലമായിട്ടാണ് ആയിരത്തി അഞ്ഞൂറ് ബയേഴ്സുമായിട്ട് കെ ടി എം ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി ടു ഈ അഞ്ചാം തീയതി മുതൽ എട്ടാം തീയതി വരെ ഇവിടെ നടത്തി സക്സസ്ഫുൾ ആക്കിയത് The highlights of the mart includes the seminar session, especially the one by Dr. Iqbal on why Ayurveda in Kerala was very informative and enlightening. Indeed, the efforts have paid off. Kerala is known for its natural beauty and as a scenic destination. But there is much beyond nature in Kerala. There is our heritage which is a contribution from the early visitors from Europe and Kerala. from the arab countries in search of the spices here there's a culture in the form of art, in the form of kadagali mohani attam kalari pai that's another part then we have very colorful temple festivals which is beyond imagination then the snake boats and recently you have seen the snake boat race here then we have our very tasty or what you say the cuisine of kerala which is very healthy and of course ayurveda the science of life we have three eminent speakers here today dr dkm iqbal who is a senior professor of vaidyaratnam ayurveda college trichur he will be speaking on the topic why ayurveda in kerala we all know about ayurveda and we need not explain too much about it but why is it important to have ayurveda in kerala ms arena guriva who is the managing director of top tours ukraine will be speaking on the subject experience of an ayurveda promoter the third speaker will be dr b venugopal who is a former director national museum of natural history new delhi he will be speaking on the topic the muzuris heritage trail i am supposed to talk to you on this question why ayurveda in kerala uh million dollar question nobody can have simple answers um i, I need uh, an, an introductory remarks before getting into the answers basically because we have this in search of answer for the question and there are answers coming from different directions like those who are into the stream of ayurvedic practice into the manufacturing sector into the industry into the marketing into the tourism sector into the policy makers you need uh, some answers right so i am giving my answers from the perspective of my backdrop as, as you know i am into the academy for quite some years i am a medical doctor practicing seriously and of course i am associated and collaborating with so many industries in the domestic sector also i have been exposed to overseas stakeholders of ayurveda and i have been an ambassador of ayurveda um in the far east like south korea and japan uh, in the middle east as well as in the europe ayurveda in the global scenario it's a debatable subject i would say that ayurveda is present in every nook and corner of the globe you see india is in the limelight everywhere as a destination for tourist i would say ayurveda in the global scenario is present as products and services what is the best of ayurveda in kerala i mean i am making certain distinctions you know i would say this is the premium brand not just a tall claim look at the fact you know this is a mainstream medicine in kerala if you come to me as i am a practicing doctor you can see people just like going to any 
tertiary care western medical center or hospital they are coming to me for serious diseases of chronic nature especially leave alone accidents and emergencies and surgeries they are not burdened with that one and this is one part of it because ayurveda is in the mainstream medicine and this is therefore healthcare and wellness it's easy to implement that one in kerala second one you can read the second point we follow the classical version of ayurveda you know the charaka samhita susuda i'm not making any jargons but we follow the 6th century gentleman called vagbata and he has authentic version of ashtanga hridaya and this is versatile in verses you can follow it you can by heart it memorize it and you can apply it so very practical manual of ayurveda and this has resulted in following a tradition of ayurveda in kerala and that is the lifeline of ayurveda in kerala and of course ayurveda is being practiced in gurukula I mean taught in gurukula system in the universities in degree level masters level doctoral level sub specialities and what not so you see every element of ayurveda practice be it physicians or therapists or nurses or paramedics every element is stronger compared to other areas or ayurveda elsewhere in the globe be it in india or other places of course the government of kerala and government of india is into the business of accreditation you have other all other accreditations and finally i would say that this is in sync with nature it's not that you practice ayurveda in a multi storied setup and inside a room it's not that you live in harmony with the nature you live ayurveda with it's in sync an ayurvedic doctor considers each individual as unique and the prescription is unique and this is live in kerala you can experience it um of course i'm a doctor medical doctor serious medical disease those who are into stroke or other kind of chronic illnesses come to kerala in the true spirit of medical tourism medical tourism generally refers to a situation where in in america or in the west you have to pay more you can have the same quality or plus in india with half the cost with a tourism uh, element attached to that one so we are here to cater those needs kalari as my uh, uh, other speaker was telling you know kalari is a knowledge system this is being wisely integrated with ayurveda in many centers of course ayurveda is about spiritual healing as well i'm not exploring that one spiritual means metaphysical if you want to have that experience of ayurveda i think you come to kerala experience and that's the end of it i end up my talk with this if you ask me why you should come to kerala for ayurveda it is a one word resourcefulness how to become agent of ayurveda how to sell ayurveda how to be in ayurveda my reply is very simple you just come experience explore try it when you will you back the people see the changes in your body people see changes in your face people see changes in your movements people see changes in your age and it's very easy to promote ayurveda by yourself just become your role model when you are a role model the world will call you for that that's the idea i'm not selling ayurveda i'm just trying to help each and every exact person to find the correct place for them because ayurveda in kerala which i was explored 22 years I've been visiting maybe more more than 50 properties and each of these properties I got a treatment. You cannot experience Ayurveda coming for only one night. Even you cannot experience Ayurveda being in farm trip and even staying 3 days or one week. You need to stay minimum 2 weeks or better more just to understand what's going with your body because it's a hard job. Pancha karma ayurveda it's a hard job of each and every patient when you understand it you can help people 
How you can help people if you just read about Ayurveda? How you can pe help if you just see the pictures about Ayurveda? But we are here, we called, being a travel agent, being a medical consultant, we called to help people, to get a healing, to get a better life, to get kind of rejuvenation. I have minimum 3,000 telephones in my contact book. So all of these people coming again and again, some people coming 20 years every year, some people coming twice. Um, how to promote Ayurveda? Live in it. Become more healthy, become more wealthy, become more young, and everyone will call you for that. I think that our main idea as an Ayurveda promoter is just to divide something to divide to divide need, needs of people and to understand what the each person need because some people they just need a wellness some people need very serious treatment some people have cancer some people got a post covid treatment and we need to understand for that you cannot be just a simple agent you have to be consultant to be consultant, you need to know, you need to experience, and you need to explore, explore, explore every year. That's why I'm here in Kerala six months per year. That's why I'm coming to all properties like Somatiram, Manasiram, like Sitaram, like Ayurveda Mana Guru Vayur, like Natika Beach Resort. I'm coming to Sanjivanam Hospital, to Kotakal Hospital. I went to many hospitals to explore how they are and see, it doesn't matter so much how much money people have, um, the most important to help people to get a result. Ayurveda is considered as one of the knowledge systems and part of heritage we call it in UNESCO circle intangible cultural heritage. And again, I will explain when I go to uh, what is the difference between tangible and intangible heritage, the importance of the Kochi and Kerala, when compared to national picture. Basically, heritage is a misnomer. Many people think that heritage. In Kerala, the approach, official approach to heritage is, heritage is equal to history at the end of the piece. So it is, a, it is not a correct terminology. Heritage has got special, not of course, in the knowledge tradition, knowledge system. Here you see the institution built upon heritage basis. People, the policy makers, higher level, and even the academicians equate it with the history only. That is the, right, the tragedy of the Center for Heritage Studies, Ripunukura, nearby. I don't want to talk at this stage, it's because of this one. And Kerala, majority of the attempts on heritage are restricted to history. That has to be corrected. And Musri heritage is one of the attempts to correct it into international UNESCO oriented concepts. So, we are normally in heritage when you call it college. If you frankly ask, does Kerala have potential for heritage? If you think of the heritage generally, normally we call of heritage for monuments, museums, and uh, heritage site systems. Kerala is almost zero in the Indian national context. That is the tangible heritage part. So, tangible and intangible heritage is some two major component parts. And tangible is the realistic, materialistic oriented for monuments and museum type of thing. There, in the national index, Kerala is almost zero. There is no world heritage site in Kerala as in today, exclusive to Kerala. Whereas if you come to the next part of intangible heritage, that is the UNESCO oriented representative, I will explain that one. In this Kerala is in the highest level of India. Even the first one from subscribe to UNESCO is from Kerala. And out of the 14, the last one was the Durga Puja from Calcutta, yeah, inscribed into world heritage status. Of it. That status is intangible heritage. So you must distinguish between the tangible and intangible heritage seen in the world and the role in Indian context and what is Kerala. Mostly it has got potential in the international scenario, UNESCO or in the world is like as a spice route. Compared to the Silk Route already available in China, because China is 
controlling now the world trade in this part of the world. And India wants to enter into the India is second. And there is always a fight between China and India. China is, uh, won the race early with the Silk Road. And India started a project. It is not Spice Road actually started. It is the Mausam project of the government of India. But Kerala government started early on the Spice Road with the international support. That Spice Road initiative into the world. That this is the one, if you can get through this one, the tourism and link this one, it will be wonderful. Don't, 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 don't.